I'm super excited today because today is day one. Well, maybe day one, possibly day one. It could be day one of my new observatory build. So, to give you guys a bit of background, I currently operate a remote observatory. It's about two hours away from my house, but it's not the best location at the moment. So, it's a little bit too close to some city lights, which gives you a bit of light pollution, which I can handle. That's okay, not a problem. Uh, it's also in a very green area, which means it gets a lot of rain, a lot of cloudy nights. Uh, so not too many cloud-free nights throughout the year, which also I can handle, that's fine. But what I can't handle is the seeing conditions, which are consistently terrible at this location. So what I'm doing now is taking a drive out to a new site, which is a little bit further away uh, and with the prospect of a lot better seeing conditions and hopefully it will be a good site. So what I'll do is I'll log off now and, uh, and log on when we get there and we'll have a look around. drive well actually we're not really here here we're in a very small town uh, just a little bit away and I'm meeting up with the property owner so he's gonna take me there and uh, show me around the site so um, I will log in again shortly this is it um, so as you can see if we have a look around there's really good visibility um, of the whole sky so this is facing east um, over here we've got facing west where the sun's currently setting um, and I wrote a couple through a couple of the things which I like about this site and the couple of things I'm a bit concerned about um, so if you have a look up there you might be able to see uh, just there is a trig station which means that's the highest location around here so we're at about a thousand meters above sea level which is not huge but um, for Australian conditions that's yeah, you don't get too much higher than that um, but it means that we're above a little bit of the atmosphere and uh, uh, also if you have a look out there the predominant the wind comes predominantly from the west um, and that is about 2,000 kilometers of relatively flat uh, land so um, the wind coming up doesn't go through any mountain areas to get uh, turbulent and uh, and then chopping and cause some issues with seeing so hopefully that will be pretty good for seeing conditions um, the, what else is good about the site uh, so yeah good visibility around um, the whole night sky um, it's also really, uh, really dry here so you can see the, the grass is pretty dry which means it doesn't get uh, too much rain so lots of clear skies uh, currently in town uh, a few hours away it's, it's actually raining but here it's it's crystal clear so we're on the other side, the side of the mountains which is really handy so what i don't like about uh, the site you can probably already tell because it's relatively flat and there's no obstructions from any mountains it can get quite windy so this is pretty gusty at the moment um so i'll have to see how much of an issue that is but hopefully the the winds pretty consistent rather than being a uh, choppy wind so we'll, we'll hopefully measure the seeing conditions and see how that uh, that works out. Uh, the other thing is that you'll notice that there's no power no internet no anything um, so it'll be a fully off the grid system which will be interesting so we'll see how that that works out it makes it a little bit more expensive um, but if the site's, site's good for it uh, then then it's well worth it. I mean, put into context, my current site uh, has got bad, it's got bad weather for the next week, um, and here it's it seems to be good weather for the next uh, week. So that that in itself is um, is definitely a bonus. So what we'll do now is wait for that sun to set, and uh, then get out uh, as my equipment and take some sky. Uh, sky quality measures, so uh, measuring the uh, the sky glow, um, both uh, east and west and north. So the nearest towns are east and west, so we'll measure those, and then we'll go uh, north, south, and then just up the zenith as well, and see what kind of um, 
uh, readings we get. Uh, unfortunately, the moon sets at about 11.30 tonight, so um, it might be a, a relatively late one tonight. And then I'll get some pictures um, of the whole night sky and, and see if I can process them and, and post them with this video to see uh, what the night sky looks like here. Um, it's not the best time of year to, to do wide field imaging. You haven't got Sagittarius in the sky, so it's it's the um, the poor man's part of the Milky Way, but we'll, we'll make use of that. Um, I think that's it, so I might log off now and uh, kill some time and uh, and then uh, log back on when it's night time and uh, see how we're going. Okay. This is a single uh, exposure of 30 seconds on ISO 800 uh, on a static mount, so it wasn't tracking. Uh, and it shows up uh, pretty well. The sky was uh, extremely dark, which was really good. Um, so I had a, a SQM from Unihedron uh, sky quality meter, and I was taking readings throughout the night. Uh, before the the moon set, it was a, about a half moon. Uh, the readings were around about uh, 21, um, and after it set, I got readings of. 22.12 to 22.2 so higher readings are better um, if you're not familiar with the SQM uh, systems uh, some people have been able to get readings of around 23 that's about as dark as it gets um, in my location uh, outside of Sydney uh, it's pretty dark I can see the Milky Way at times um, but I get readings of around 18 and a half so 22.2 uh, is extremely dark. When I point it uh, towards the nearest town, I got readings of around 21 or 20.8 uh, around that, that area. Um, and because I'm perched on top of a hill, you can see a little bit of sky glow, um, mainly because we're sitting above the, the surrounding towns. But the sky glow is not too bad, um, and it only extends about 10 degrees above the horizon. So. I don't expect that will um, impact imaging at all, um, uh, as the, the sky is pretty dark. Uh, probably the, the biggest concern is the wind. So the wind picked up and uh, was steady throughout the night. Um, when I went down into the, the valley of the property a little bit, um, it was completely calm. So I'm not sure how the wind will affect the scene conditions. What I've decided that I'll do is I'll take my rig up there and, and actually image um, the sky with my setup and, and see what um, FWHM measurements I get uh, for the scene conditions and my, my tracking, how that works as well, uh, and see if the, the wind is really affecting the scene conditions. Hopefully it's not. Um, you know, if it was completely calm, like in the valley of the uh, of the property, the wind would still be blowing, you know, up 20 meters, 30 meters above me. So I'd imagine that would be, um, pretty consistent, uh, and being sheltered from it at the, at ground level wouldn't really make much of a difference, but we'll, we'll check that out. And hopefully over the next month or so, I'll get some really good readings and I'll, I'll report back on that. But other than that, uh, it was a really successful trip. Um, let me know what you think, if you think this is a good site or if it's not a good site or, or happy to have any comments in the comments below.